Hello, everybody, and welcome to the CISN eSports presentation of our very first Rocket League tournament. I'm Randy Nielsen. I'm joined by my friend Reese Webb, and we're just about ready to get this Rocket League tournament. And, you know, we've been looking forward to doing this for a few weeks now, which, uh, you know, with everything going on in the world, we haven't had a whole lot to, you know, be doing and be able to look forward to. So to have a, a tournament to broadcast has been a real thing that's helped us uh, move along these last few weeks. Yeah, it's definitely been exciting putting this together, and it should definitely be an exciting uh, couple of hours. All right, so if you're a little bit new to Rocket League, we have a video that we made that kind of gives you a little brief little intro of what exactly Rocket League is. Rocket League at its core is pretty simple. Basically, it is a game of soccer that is played with rocket-powered cars. These games can be played anywhere from one-on-one -on -one to four-on-four. -on -four. The objective of the game is also quite simple, and that is to put the ball in the pack of the goal more times than your opponent does. However, that can be much easier said than done. The cars in Rocket League have some abilities. First and most important, they are able to boost. Boosting is vital in Rocket League, both for speed and maneuverability. Players can regain boost by driving over boost pads that are all over the arena floor. They can regain a full boost meter by driving over one of these boost pads, which are found on the edges of the arena floor. Now, cars are also able to jump and then fly through the air. Now, you combine that with the ability to boost and the ability to control your car while midair, and the possibilities become endless. Cars can do flips, barrel rolls, and can even fly all the way across the map if done correctly. This can lead to some spectacular plays both on offense and on defense. There is no out of bounds in Rocket League. Both the cars and the ball have free will over the entire play area and can bounce off the walls, the ceiling, each other, wherever. Play only stops when a goal is scored or when the clock runs out. Speaking of when the clock runs out, one interesting mechanic is that after the clock hits zero, the ball is still live until it hits the ground. So if players can keep the ball up in the air for two minutes after the buzzer sounds, then play continues for that two minutes. This little quirk can lead to someone scoring a game-winning goal well after the clock hits zero. Now, if the game is tied at the end of regulation, it will go to sudden death overtime. The next player to score will win the match. And that is the basics of Rocket League. All right, so that's just a quick little intro to Rocket League if it's a completely new thing to you. And, you know, Reese, the two of us, the last few weeks, we've definitely been uh, messing around on Rocket League quite a bit. And I think we can agree on the fact that, you know, if you're just starting the game, it's easy to pick up the basics of it. But the learning curve from that point on is pretty steep. Yeah. Um, yeah, as you said, the basics are pretty straightforward. But, like, um, learning the advanced stuff is really when... Um, you you can get good at it. All right, so we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to show you the tournament bracket, and then we are going to get the action underway. So stay with us. We'll be back here in just a minute right here on CISN. Hi, this is Chris from Fireplace Superstore, and it's a great time to start getting your backyard ready for summer. At Fireplace Superstore, we have Iowa's largest selection of outdoor furniture. Holly furniture, wrought iron, aluminum, wicker, also barbecues from Weber, and the best umbrellas to keep you shady. Fire pits to keep your backyard warm. Everything that you need for your summer here in Iowa. Come see us now, Fireplace Superstore, 109th and Douglas and Urban Day. Central Bank opened its doors in 1877 and has been proud to call Iowa home ever since. For more than a century, our family-owned business has worked hand-in-hand -hand with friends and neighbors across the state to make their dreams a reality. Come visit us at our new location on Hickman and Waukee and see how Central Bank can make it happen for you.
Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee cares. 2020 Silverado 4x4 crew as low as $399 per month. Zero down. This is a true sign and drive. Or get up to $11,500 off or 0% for 84 months. Remember, all pre-owned vehicles come with a 12-month bumper-to-bumper warranty. 2020 Equinox LT, $299 per month. Zero down. Sign and drive. Or up to $7,000 off or 0% for 84 months. No payments for 120 days available. Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee. WaukeeChevy.com. MidAmerican Energy and you, together partnering to change the energy landscape by pioneering money-saving energy efficiency programs and building a new industry in Iowa, wind energy, all while keeping your rates low. So what's next? We'll keep delivering cost-effective energy efficiency programs while putting money back in your pocket. That's right. You decide how best to spend your savings. That's a partnership good for you, good for the environment, and good for Iowa. Another way we're obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee cares. 2020 Silverado 4x4 crew as low as $399 per month. Zero down. This is a true sign and drive. Or get up to $11,500 off or 0% for 84 months. Remember, all pre-owned vehicles come with a 12-month bumper-to-bumper warranty. 2020 Equinox LT, $299 per month. Zero down. Sign and drive. Or up to $7,000 off or 0% for 84 months. No payments for 120 days available. Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee. WaukeeChevy.com. MidAmerican Energy and you, together partnering to change the energy landscape by pioneering money-saving energy efficiency programs and building a new industry in Iowa, wind energy, all while keeping your rates low. So what's next? We'll keep delivering cost-effective energy efficiency programs while putting money back in your pocket. That's right. You decide how best to spend your savings. That's a partnership good for you, good for the environment, and good for Iowa. Another way we're obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Welcome back here on CISN. We're getting closer to the start of our first Rocket League tournament. So now, before we get started, we're going to take a quick look at the bracket. So or we got eight people that are going to be participating in this tournament. And we're going to start off, at, as usual, with the quarterfinals. We have, in the first matchup, we're going to have Chilling Vlad 1 versus Rick C137. In the second matchup, it's going to be I Kill You Four Times versus Comical Veil vale 7345. Then Time Lady 1986 versus Jay Carter. And we'll keep going as we're going along as we are just about ready to get this first matchup underway. And it already is underway here between Rick C137 and Chilling Vlad 1. As the matchup gets underway, the ball is just going to roll over slowly over towards the orange corner. Now uh, Rick trying to get something going here is uh, not really able to get something going right away. So yeah, it you know, should be it should be sorry to cut you off, but it should be fun seeing who plays on the, on the offensive and who plays more of a defensive game. Yeah, because uh, you know a lot of people when they're playing Rocket League, they usually play in a three v three environment instead mm -hmm. of a 1v1 and that's just a completely different ball game. that's just all offensive but on a 1v1 you have to take advantage of the opportunities like Rick just did right there as he scores the first goal of this tournament and he takes a one to nothing lead just over four minutes remaining yeah he just came off the wall and just rushed right past chilling Vlad all right, so now Chilling Vlad trying to... Okay, when you get down in the hole early, I mean, when you're playing 3v3, as it looks like these two are trying to fake each other out right now, and they're, they're faking everybody out. Yeah, <laughs> they're faking us out. They're faking each other out. They're faking everyone watching out. Yeah, who's the first to touch the ball here on the restart? It's, it's Rick 137. Oh, he tried to get fancy there and uh, back it in and it's going to end up rolling all the way across the net. No one's able to do anything with it. So, you know, going full psyching each other out is just 
proving to be a very interesting strategy both ways here. I think uh, you know, Rick's got the uh, knows he has that lead right now, and he's going to try and play defense as much as he can for the next three minutes. Yeah, the ball the ball's just rolling, and no cars near it. Yeah, I think they're just trying you know, really hard to psych each other out right now. <laughs> which, I mean, now you got an opportunity here if you're Chili and Vlad, but you wasn't quick enough. And now, well, Chili Vlad just decided, all right. I missed my opportunity, so you know the heck with it. I'm just going to blow him up because I can, basically. Yeah, and I've, I've never seen this type of game being played uh, by any players. Yeah, it's it's With, weird to see them, you know, not going full bore on yeah. offense and said just, you know, playing fake out or a psych out strategy. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're very committed to it because. Uh, you know, they just kind of been letting the ball slowly roll around the arena the majority of the time for the two and a half minutes we played so far. But now Rick has got an opportunity here, miss, messes up on his dribble, ends up going wide right. So he's going to regroup. The first time in this in this matchup that we've actually seen some sort of offense, like actual offense. Yes, yeah, so now. Uh, Rick had an opportunity there, but Chilling Vlad was uh, playing good defense there, ended up punting him clear. So now Rick will have to reset. It's very interesting watching this because like, you could tell the two of them are just like not really trying to be super aggressive because they know if they are super aggressive, they're going to end up just completely missing on an opportunity yeah, and allowing like, the other person to score. It's kind of... Like, both of them are waiting for the ball to roll in front of the goal for the easiest goal possible. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, in a five-minute match, you're probably going to wait a few matches for that yeah. to end up happening for you, especially in a 1v1 scenario. But uh, if you're you know, chilling, Vlad, you're going to have to hurry up here because we are just over a minute remaining. You're still down one, and the ball's over in your corner. So... Winner moves on to our semifinal round. And we'll, we'll explain more about how all that's going to work when we get to that point later. But uh, as we're under a minute remaining now, we're going to see if the intensity picks up a little bit here. And they're still trying to you know, psych each other out a little bit. And Well, now Rick's got an opportunity. If he scores here, the, the pace that this game has been played, it would be pretty much done, but he misses wide right. So now if you're, I mean, now if you're Rick with 30 seconds left, you can play keep away all you want. But if you're uh, chilling Vlad, you got to hurry. And when you're in the situation he has, you got to go all the way across the field. You don't have a lot of boost to play with. It's uh, definitely a tough ask. And so now uh, Vlad was able to get it over into in front of the orange net, but he wasn't able to do anything with it because he didn't have any boost his last five seconds are ticking down and it looks like Rick C137 is going to take the victory and an interesting start to our tournament here today yeah. alright so uh, Rick C137 will move on in the tournament so now we're going to get ready for our next game Is uh, there's a look at the bracket for you you can see Rick C137 moves on. We're going to have our next matchup coming up here in a few minutes, so we'll take a quick break, and we'll be back for our second, quarter, second quarterfinal matchup right here on CISN. Hi, this is Chris from Fireplace Superstore, and it's a great time to start getting your backyard ready for summer. At Fireplace Superstore, we have Iowa's largest selection of outdoor furniture. Poly furniture, wrought iron, aluminum, wicker, also barbecues from Weber, and the best umbrellas to keep you shady. Fire pits to keep your backyard warm. Everything that you need for your summer here in Iowa. Come see us now. Fireplace Superstore, 109th and Douglas and Urban Day. Central Bank opened its doors in 1877 and has been proud to call Iowa home ever since. For more than a century, our family-owned business has worked hand-in-hand -hand with friends and neighbors across the state to make their dreams a reality. Come visit us at our new location on Hickman and Waukee and see how Central Bank can make it happen for you.
Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee cares. 2020 Silverado 4x4 crew as low as $399 per month. Zero down. This is a true sign and drive. Or get up to $11,500 off or 0% for 84 months. Remember, all pre-owned vehicles come with a 12-month bumper-to-bumper warranty. 2020 Equinox LT, $299 per month. Zero down. Sign and drive. Or up to $7,000 off or 0% for 84 months. No payments for 120 days available. Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee. WaukeeChevy.com. Mid-American Energy and you, together partnering to change the energy landscape by pioneering money-saving energy efficiency programs and building a new industry in Iowa, wind energy, all while keeping your rates low. So what's next? We'll keep delivering cost-effective energy efficiency programs while putting money back in your pocket. That's right. You decide how best to spend your savings. That's a partnership good for you, good for the environment, and good for Iowa. Another way we're obsessively, relentlessly at your service. All right, welcome back here on CISN to our first Rocket League tournament. Looks like we're going to get this second round or the second matchup underway. Definitely didn't waste any time. These two were definitely ready to get going because uh, they barely gave us time to come back from break. So this matchup is going to be between uh, Comical Vale and I Kill You Four Times. So it looks like you know we, these two are playing a similar strategy as the last. Uh, matchup was because they're just sitting they're waiting for somebody to as we have some sort of technical glitch here as uh, we've appeared to loss we have lost one of our players but uh, you know things happen I mean I mean could have pressed the wrong button you could have had your internet go out and I mean there have been weirder things happen so we'll just see what ends up happening here with the you know what? Things happen. As, uh, you know, Comical Vale scores a uh, goal against, oh, well, nobody, really. But, you know, those kinds of things happen. This All right, looks like we got him back. Uh, yeah, he's back in the matchup. So I'm guessing he probably just had some sort of internet mix-up. At, Maybe. Could I have mean, been. I mean that happen. That happens all the time. It drives gamers nuts. Yeah, <laughs> and he he just made up for it. Yeah, that, I mean that could have been a, that could have been him just getting out of the way and letting him get a makeup goal. Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely go with. That's what I would go with on that one. But anyway, so after you know the weirdness that happened in that first minute, we're gonna basically just reset. <laughs> And we'll play a four-minute game, and we're going to start at one with a score of one to one. So, all oh, all's fair. I mean, whatever ends up happening, but we, we got it all worked out. So, Comical Vale is going to take a shot on goal here, and is saved by I kill you four times. What a save! <laughs> we both thought that was going in, but it was not. So now back over towards the orange goal, and is deflected away. Ball slowly rolling towards the blue net. Both of them race down there to get it. And Comical Vale realizes he's got to go back and defend. He's parked in front of his net waiting for the ball to come, and he ends up deflecting it away. Now he's got a breakaway as four times it ended up flying through the air away from the ball. Just mm -hmm. sitting in front of the net. Opportunity, and he takes advantage of it to make it two to one. And that's the thing with one-on-ones. If your opponent misses, you got an open shot at, at the goal at the other end. No other defenders to worry about. And when I kill you four times missed, Comical Vale got that open opportunity. Oh, a couple really close opportunities there and ended up going in to make it two to two. 
That first shot missed, but he got the rebound. And that's also a big part of, of this game. So what's definitely been, I mean, I was just about to ask, okay, how do you respond <laughs> to going down two to one? And before he even got that sentence out of my mouth, it was tied two to two. So just under three minutes remaining, and we're tied at two between Comical Vale and four times. So we're going to see you know, what ends up happening and what's going to be the second half of this matchup. Comical Vale sends over into the corner, ends up going in front of the net. Now four times is going to have an opportunity if he can get control of it. But while he's trying to do that, Comical Vale blows him up. And that's going to leave the net open. But got back in just in the nick of time to save the goal from being scored. Yeah, Comical Vale couldn't take advantage of that, of that blow up and stays tied. All right. Two minutes remaining here in this matchup. Now the ball is slowly rolling towards blue, but uh, ends up being shot and scored off the rebound there, and four times takes a 3-2 to two lead. Yeah, that long shot caught Comical Vale off guard, and he was two out in front to get back to his goal and save it. All right, so now I'm going to try and get this in before another goal scores. So now what do you do if you're Comical Vale? Well, you... Or you could just do that. <laughs> I think these two are just, they don't want me to say anything yeah. about being down by a goal. Yeah. So we're now tied at three with just under two minutes to go here in our second quarterfinal matchup. All right, on the restart, ball gets popped up. It goes slightly over towards the blue side. Now over into the corner, four times trying to keep it from rolling towards the net. Ends up missing, but it, but rebounds and gets it clear. Four times goes and gets some boost. And looks like, you know, once again, those uh, demolitions are coming into play as uh, Veil vale blows them up again. Not able to take advantage of it, though. Was nowhere near the net. Looked like Com Covell was going to try to play it in front of the goal, but I think he had four times just knocked it out. Good exactly. play by him. Yeah, now these two are just uh, you know, trying to play keep away from each other over in the corner as we're under a minute remaining. Four times trying to get an op a look, not quite able to do it. Now Com Covell has an opportunity, but it's stolen away. Now it's basically just a game of uh, stealing the ball from each other at this point. That shot is just to the left of the goal. 30 seconds remaining. Game is tied at three. We're going to see if we're going to have a last second goal like we, <laughs> like we mentioned in the promo package. And that one, oh, what a lucky bounce for Comical Vale. And he takes the lead four to three. Just unlucky for I kill you kill you for four times and just a deflection and that might be a game winner we'll we'll see though yeah we got 18 seconds left a lot can happen in a rocket league game in 18 seconds all the other times there have been responses well he's got a hurry he's got 10 seconds left grabs a full boost which is going to be needed five seconds four three veil clears it and that is going to do it Comical Vale gets the win, and he advances to the semifinals where he will face Rick C-137. So, halfway through the quarterfinals, we're going to have a couple more games coming up. As we mentioned earlier, we have a Time Lady is going to be coming up against Jay Carter, and Fat Arabian Man will be going, will have his quarterfinal matchup, and we're going to have those for you coming up next right here on CISN. Central Bank opened its doors in 1877 and has been proud to call Iowa home ever since. For more than a century, our family-owned business has worked hand-in-hand -hand with friends and neighbors across the state to make their dreams a reality. Come visit us at our new location on Hickman and Waukee and see how Central Bank can make it happen for you. Hi, 
Hi, this is Chris from Fireplace Superstore, and it's a great time to start getting your backyard ready for summer. At Fireplace Superstore, we have Iowa's largest selection of outdoor furniture. Holly furniture, wrought iron, aluminum, wicker, also barbecues from Weber, and the best umbrellas to keep you shady. Fire pits to keep your backyard warm. Everything that you need for your summer here in Iowa. Come see us now, Fireplace Superstore, 109th and Douglas and Urban. All right, welcome back to our Rocket League tournament here on CISN. And like we were saying in the last game, these players are ready to go. They're not wasting any time getting in the in the matchup. So this one is going to be Time Lady, who immediately scores, wastes no time at all. Scores on the opening kickoff. Just an unlucky bounce there for Jay Carter. Yeah, just deflected off Jay Carter and hit the top of the hit the ceiling and just the angle was right for time lady all right so as we were saying before <laughs> we had a, a goal immediately scored it's a time lady 1986 in the blue car versus jay carter 23 in the orange car so we you know when when you have a goal scored against you in like literally three seconds yeah how, how do you respond to that well I mean, it kind of demeaning, but you got to stay strong and you got to find a way to at least score one and not get down too much. Yeah, I mean, it's easy to, you know, come back when you're down one nothing, but mm -hmm. you, you're going to try to not get down, you know, by multiple goals because right. that can be, cause, you know, you can get lucky once, but sometimes getting lucky twice is just not an option as. Time ladies just misses wide right. You know, yeah. Jay Carter, I mean, he got down on there quick, but not quick enough to, if uh, that shot would have been on target. But uh, see, so dodges a bullet there. Yeah, keeps I think, it one nothing. I think if Time Lady followed that shot, she would have got the goal, but but she kind of gave up. Ooh, close one there for Jay Carter. I think. I think the exact same that happened to him as what just happened to Timely. I think he thought that one was just going to roll in mm -hmm. and just kind of let it, and then it didn't go in. Right. So it's going to have to, you know, adapt quickly in these games because it, you know, it's not as ridiculously fast paced as a three v three or a four v four match would be in Rocket League, but things still happen quickly in 1v1s is Jay Carter's got an opportunity here. He's going to try and just let it roll. Going to try and keep Time Lady from interfering. And that's just going to be the slowest rolling goal you may ever yeah. see in Rocket League. Yep. That time he let it roll and this time it had the angle and enough space to roll in. Time Lady tried, but she couldn't keep up with it. All right, so just under three minutes remaining, the score is tied at once on the kickoff. Jay Carter ends up winning that one, sends it over towards the blue corner. I was just trying to you know, set up a better look as uh, Time Lady had an opportunity there, but just ended up just missing. So that, these two are just trying to you know, psych each other out, trying to get an opportunity to send it out and towards uh, their respective net. And they're just, they're biding their time right now. Is it, yeah. They have, well, I was going to say biding my time, and then it immediately cuts to a demolition. Yeah. <laughs> Every single time. I, I think I should just not talk <laughs> at this point, because I keep jinxing things. So... 
just over two minutes remaining. Score's still tied at one. Over towards the blue corner. Time Lady's trying to get something going here. Slowly dribbling it down the field. has got a look here, and this might end up making it 2-1, and it does. Just a great goal by Time Lady. She knew it, what she was doing. She dribbled it all the way to the goal. And she's up 2-1. All right, so now you still got two minutes to work with if you're Jay Carter, so no reason to panic yet. You got plenty of time, and you, know, you just get a good shot. And in the way that we were discussing 1v1s, if your opponent misses, you just got to bide your time and wait for that opportunity, and when it does, you got to strike. Yep. So you know, Jay Carter tried to get one there. Now he's got to hurry to prevent this one from being scored, and he is able to. A great save by Jay Carter. And now, nobody back in the blue goal. Jay Carter has a chance to tie it up. Yeah, just got to play the angles right, which you know we, which we know can be a bit of a challenge, because uh, you know the way that the ball bounces, it can be a little bit weird. You yeah, know, you think it's going to go, you know, one way straight towards the net, and it ends up bouncing, you know, off the wall or off the ceiling or basically anywhere except the goal where you want it to go. Under one minute remaining, and it looks like a timely is just going to try and play keep away here for a minute, or just decides, you know, like we were just saying about the opportunities. Mm -hmm. yeah, Jay Carter made a, uh, made a uh, wrong turn, basically, and timely saw that opportunity and just sent it straight over his head into the back of the net, and it's now three to one. So now if you're Jay Carter, now you got to be a little bit in desperation mode. as uh, This is going to be a good opportunity if he can get the angle, but he's not able to. It's those, you know, those initial kickoffs, the, um, that ball can end up flying way farther than you think it should yep. or would. And it just you know, creates you know, weird angles that you're not prepared for. 20 seconds left. Jay Carter's got an opportunity, but he's got to hurry here. Time Lady's racing back to block. Shot is wide right. That might be the final nail in the coffin there. So it looks like uh, as time runs out, we have five seconds now. Time Lady is going to get the win and will advance on to the semifinals. Three to one is the final. So Time Lady gets the win over Jay Carter, and we're going to have our last quarterfinal. It's going to be coming up right after the break here on CISN. Central Bank opened its doors in 1877 and has been proud to call Iowa home ever since. For more than a century, our family-owned business has worked hand-in-hand -hand with friends and neighbors across the state to make their dreams a reality. Come visit us at our new location on Hickman and Waukee and see how Central Bank can make it happen for you. Mid-American Energy and you, together partnering to change the energy landscape by pioneering money-saving energy efficiency programs and building a new industry in Iowa, wind energy, all while keeping your rates low. So what's next? We'll keep delivering cost-effective energy efficiency programs while putting money back in your pocket. That's right. You decide how best to spend your savings. That's a partnership good for you, good for the environment, and good for Iowa. Another way we're obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Welcome back to our Rocket League tournament here on CISN. We got one quarterfinal match remaining that's going to be coming up here in just a minute. So through the first three games, Reese, what have you seen that has really stood, stood out to you? Well, a lot of mind games kind of in this game. Usually it's all about offense, defense, but a lot of kind of trickery kind of. It could... I mean, we're, we've definitely been used to, sl you know, faster-paced games. Yeah. You know, we were messing around on Rocket League in the last couple of weeks. So, you know, seeing much slower-paced games is kind of... Kind of odd. Really, yeah, it's not what you're really expecting to see. Mm -hmm. So, let's see. Oh, going to be just a minute here before we get this last game going. But uh, 
Again, we're going to take another look at the bracket here. As you can see, uh, Rick C137 has advanced. Comical Veil has advanced. Time Ladies advanced to the semifinals. And now we're going to have our last semifinal match to determine the fourth person that will advance to the semifinals. I'm going to get that game going here in just a minute. So, you know, like we were saying, you know, we were expecting more fast-paced games, and instead we've been seeing a lot more slow-paced, more tactical mm -hmm. games being played, you know, like like you mentioned with some mind games. Yeah, more methodical. And it's definitely, you know, kind of weird to see that because, uh, I mean, you can go and watch, uh, you know, Rocket League gameplay online, and you see people just flying mm -hmm. everywhere. So yeah. to see... You know, much slower paced games is going to be a little bit weird to some people who play Rocket League a lot. So, you know, you just you just got to go with the flow of the game, really, because mm -hmm. it's no different than, you know, a lot of other games, because it, it can change drastically on a match by match basis. So you just have to go with the flow and hope you end up on the on the right end of it. Yeah. All right, so it's going to be just a couple of minutes here before we get this next game underway. So we're going to take a quick break, and we'll have that last quarterfinal match for you right here on CISN. Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee cares. 2020 Silverado 4x4 crew, as low as $399 per month. Zero down. This is a true sign and drive. Or get up to $11,500 off or 0% for 84 months. Remember, all pre-owned vehicles come with a 12-month bumper-to-bumper warranty. 2020 Equinox LT, $299 per month. Zero down, sign and drive. Or up to $7,000 off or 0% for 84 months. No payments for 120 days available. Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee. WaukeeChevy.com. All right, welcome back to our Rocket League tournament here on CISN. Just about ready to get our last quarterfinal matchup underway between Fat Arabian Man and Shof. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they're both and we're just kind of waiting on the the system to get the uh, the show on the road, and looks like that's just about to happen. So, again, last quarterfinal match. Uh, winner of this match is going to go up against Time Lady in the semifinals. So. We'll see what ends up happening here as this game is underway. And right away, if Fat Arabian Man gets the win on the faceoff and just scores immediately. Yeah, off the off the start, Shof just went high. He thought the Fat Arabian Man was going to go high also, but he stayed it on the ground and it just went under Shof. Yeah, just you went one way and the ball went another. I mean, yeah, that, that's as simple as that. You know, and I mean, when you have these one v, I I know we keep comparing, you know, the one v ones versus uh, when you're playing a three v three or something like that in other uh, Rocket League games. But when you have that, you don't have anybody to back you up. Yeah, it's just more real estate that you have to cover yourself. See, and now now we're getting the. Uh, the high flying action that we were kind of ex yeah. waiting on with uh, Fat Arabian Man here as the now show had a look, but it ends up being saved and he pays back by blowing him up. So now Shof has a has a couple seconds to get you know ready before you know, Fat Man comes back in and tries to return the favor and. You know, had his opportunity and wasn't able to take advantage of it. Just under one minute in, it is one to nothing in favor of Fat Arabian Man. Is now I think he's he's trying to play a, a keep away and show off at the same time. Yeah. Is that he's doing the uh, in air dribbles as you see quite often in trouble uh, for show. Oh, and he deflected it high. 
Ooh, that unfortunate bounce there for Shof ends up in a goal there for Fat Arabian Man. Yeah, nice high flying goal by the Fat Man after Shof tried to deflect it high, but Fat Man just sent it into the goal with a high flying maneuver. Yeah. I mean, that one was. An unfortunate bounce for Shof, but if the, the two of them were teammates, that would be probably be counted as an assist. Yeah. So now if you're Shof, you're down two nothing. So now you got uh, you have just over three minutes, so now you gotta get something going quickly here. Yeah, he's gotta get a couple shots on goal before Fat Man scores another goal. Which didn't I, happen. Yep. And that was just beautifully done. Are you taking full advantage of your mid-air control that you possess when playing Rocket League and puts it in the back of the net and now he's up 3-0. So yeah. great air attack by Fat Man. See and now Shove is just is going with uh, what's your strategy when you play, when you're playing Rocket League and that's just to defend the goal. Yeah on the initial attack. Sometimes it doesn't always work, but most times if you're good at, if you're good at it, you can defend your goal. And just like that, Fat Man does does defend his goal. Now he's on the offensive. Yeah, ran out of boost there. Otherwise, he was going to go a f what basically would have been a full court shot. Yeah. <laughs> like we're like we're playing hoops all of a sudden, but uh now that one, I mean, that was looking good for Shof, but that just gets, <laughs> Fat Man just goes skying through the air and it starts a play that eventually gets him another goal yeah, to make it 4 nothing. It looks like Fat Man is just toying with Shof right now. Just all the high-flying maneuvers, spins in the air, four goals, two minutes left to go. It looks like he's toying with Shof right now. And this is usually what Rocket League looks like. Yeah. What you would find on and play when you play Rocket League. Yeah, it's you know nothing against anyone else. So you have right. Like we like we were saying, it's you can pick up the basics of it pretty simple, mm -hmm. but to be able to you know have the mid air control that these two players have right now yeah that takes a lot of practice mm -hmm. that takes a lot of time and effort into this game minute and a half remaining and uh, fat arabian man's just taking a commanding lead here and he might try and extend it but that one is saved by shof now that one looked like a if that Arabian man spent too much time messing around in the air, I thought it was going to cost him a goal, but it just went wide there for Shove. One minute left. Batman might pitch the shutout here in our fourth fourth quarter final. Looking good for Shove here. Hey, and there you go. You got on the board. You have 48 seconds to play with here. I know... You might not thinking you're in that good of a situation when you're down by three with less than a minute left, but weirder things have happened in Rocket League. Yeah. yeah. So it's never over until the, when that final buzzer sounds. So we'll see what ends up happening here in the last 45 seconds or so. Oh, that shot just wide left there for Shof. And Shof if, needed that one to go. Yes, he did. And if, if that would have gone in, this game would have gotten very interesting. Well, Shof needs this one to go. There it is, right there. And now it's 4-2, and what was looking like it was just going to be a complete blowout has very quickly turned very interesting. 28 seconds left to go in the game. Shof down by two goals. Was down by four. Well, he needed to get that face off. You know, have control of the ball. So now the clock is just going to tick down. 
Shof makes a nice save there to keep it from becoming 5-2, but I don't think that's going to matter here for too long. Well, I thought <laughs> Fat Arabian Man was going to try and attack it, but I think he's just going to let the clock run out. He knows time is his friend here. Yep. Time ticking down. Last clear there for Fat Arabian Man as he's going to try and score before the clock runs out, unable to, and Fat Arabian Man gets the win 4-2. to two. Yep, Shof tried to make a late comeback, but not enough time for him. And Fat Man gets the win and moves on. All right, so here's our bracket as we are now going to head to the semifinals. It's Rick C137 will be taking on Comical Veil, and Time Lady will be taking on Fat Arabian Man. And we're going to get to those semifinals coming right up after the break, right here on CISN. Hi, this is Chris from Fireplace Superstore, and it's a great time to start getting your backyard ready for summer. At Fireplace Superstore, we have Iowa's largest selection of outdoor furniture. Holly furniture, wrought iron, aluminum, wicker, also barbecues from Weber, and the best umbrellas to keep you shady. Fire pits to keep your backyard warm. Everything that you need for your summer here in Iowa. Come see us now, Fireplace Superstore, 109th and Douglas and Urban Day. Central Bank opened its doors in 1877 and has been proud to call Iowa home ever since. For more than a century, our family-owned business has worked hand-in-hand -hand with friends and neighbors across the state to make their dreams a reality. Come visit us at our new location on Hickman and Waukee and see how Central Bank can make it happen for you. Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee cares. 2020 Silverado 4x4 crew, as low as $399 per month. Zero down, this is a true sign and drive. Or get up to $11,500 off or 0% for 84 months. Remember, all pre-owned vehicles come with a 12-month bumper-to-bumper warranty. 2020 Equinox LT, $299 per month. Zero down, sign and drive. Or up to $7,000 off or 0% for 84 months. No payments for 120 days available. Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee. WaukeeChevy.com. Mid-American Energy and you, together partnering to change the energy landscape by pioneering money-saving energy efficiency programs and building a new industry in Iowa, wind energy, all while keeping your rates low. So what's next? We'll keep delivering cost-effective energy efficiency programs while putting money back in your pocket. That's right. You decide how best to spend your savings. That's a partnership good for you, good for the environment, and good for Iowa. Another way we're obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Welcome back here on CISN to our Rocket League tournament. We are through the quarterfinals, and we are now going to head on to the semifinals. Those will be starting here in just a couple of minutes. So, Reese, we saw a lot of different kinds of action there in the quarterfinals. What are you looking forward to seeing in the semis? Um, more methodical, but faster pace. I, I, I would hope for yeah. faster pace now that it's kind of a best of three now for the semifinals. Yes, yeah, so, you know, Reese just mentioned it. We're going to have a little bit of a change up here for the semifinals. It's going to be a best of three. So, um, you know, best two out of three wins. Uh, these games are going to be, you know, five minutes long, just like they were in the quarterfinals. But the first person to five goals will win the match. So, basically, you know, score five goals or, you know, five-minute game, whichever one happens first. And again, a best two out of three in the semifinals. So we're going to take a quick look at the bracket here. And as we mentioned before the break, in the first semifinal, it's going to be Rick C-137 taking on Comical Veil. Now, both of those two, they were playing the more, the slow-paced, methodical route. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in the second 
matchup. It'll be Time Lady versus uh, Fat Arabian Man. And those two, we're thinking, is going to be a lot faster paced, higher scoring match. Yeah. So, so it's nice to see you have two completely different styles of play going on. And we're going to see what ends up happening in these matchups. And they're going to be coming up right after the break here on CISN. Hi, this is Chris from Fireplace Superstore, and it's a great time to start getting your backyard ready for summer. At Fireplace Superstore, we have Iowa's largest selection of outdoor furniture. Poly furniture, wrought iron, aluminum, wicker, also barbecues from Weber, and the best umbrellas to keep you shady. Fire pits to keep your backyard warm. Everything that you need for your summer here in Iowa. Come see us now, Fireplace Superstore, 109th and Douglas in Urbandale. Central Bank opened its doors in 1877 and has been proud to call Iowa home ever since. For more than a century, our family-owned business has worked hand-in-hand -hand with friends and neighbors across the state to make their dreams a reality. Come visit us at our new location on Hickman and Waukee and see how Central Bank can make it happen for you. Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee cares. 2020 Silverado 4x4 crew, as low as $399 per month. Zero down, this is a true sign and drive. Or get up to $11,500 off or 0% for 84 months. Remember, all pre-owned vehicles come with a 12-month bumper-to-bumper warranty. 2020 Equinox LT, $299 per month. Zero down, sign and drive. Or up to $7,000 off or 0% for 84 months. No payments for 120 days available. Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee. WaukeeChevy.com. Mid-American Energy and you, together partnering to change the energy landscape by pioneering money-saving energy efficiency programs and building a new industry in Iowa, wind energy, all while keeping your rates low. So what's next? We'll keep delivering cost-effective energy efficiency programs while putting money back in your pocket. That's right, you decide how best to spend your savings. That's a partnership good for you, good for the environment, and good for Iowa. Another way we're obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Welcome back here on CISN. Just about ready to get the semifinals underway. Just waiting on our second participant to join the match, which, you know, based off of our prior experience, won't take long. Yeah. So, you know, we were discussing before the break about the, you know, the different styles of play, and you know, you were, we were talking about uh, your style of play, how you. Like when you're playing, you like to defend the goal, not let someone get an easy one on you. Yeah. So, and we were kind of mentioning, you know, you know, how I play. I ch it yeah. depends entirely because, like we uh, we were discussing, it depends entirely on the flow of the match. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, you see, I mean, you, you saw it in the quarterfinals between, you know, the different matches. You had two different matches which were played completely differently. So. It just depends entirely on the flow of the game. You're just kind of waiting on to see, you know, what's going on. You have to feel your opponent out a little bit. I mean, sometimes you can do a full-fledged attack flying through the air. Sometimes you just have to play casually as, you know, so, uh, I think Rick, see, I, uh, on that one, like, he was playing super casually on that one because he knew immediately that that one was not going to go in and, just waited for his opportunity as you know comical veils just make it and sure all right what have i got here as now looks like rick c is ready to go now comical veil is going to try and attack and it ends up putting it in the back of the net to make it one to nothing yeah look comical veil was just push pushing it and rick 137 just tried to clear it but just couldn't Get it yeah. out of there. It wasn't quick enough. 
Yeah. I mean, I mean, it happens. You know, we have weird, weird things can happen. I mean, mm. like when you're playing when you're playing this game, I mean, expect the unexpected, really, because the the moment you think, okay, I'm in full control of this situation, is the moment when. You know, that happens. You think you're going to have an opportunity to goal, and next thing you know, the ball is on the other side of the arena. Yep. This is our first semifinal of two between Comical Vale and Rick 137. Yep. So as we mentioned before we got started here, it's going to be a best of three, you know, five-minute games, and first one to five goals will win said game. Well, we got a little ways to go before the five-goal rule will be put into effect. So, you know, we thought we were going to get a little closer there, but Comical Vale just ended up getting an unfortunate bounce off the post yeah. and stays one nothing. Yeah, a couple of close misses for Comical Vale, one off the crossbar, and and there's another one off the crossbar for Comical Vale, and like you said, one off the left post. Yeah, it's just you got you have your opportunities and you got to take advantage of them as. Uh, and you have, if you're on the other side, you got to try and squash those opportunities, which Comical Vale did a really good job of on that possession. Yep. He's going to play this one in front. Oh, that, <laughs> that was unfortunate there for, <laughs> there for Rick because, I mean, he had the right idea, but he ended up punting Comical Vale into the ball, which put it in the back of the net. Yeah, and Comical Vale was smart getting in front of the ball, so if Rick 137 even touched Comical Vale, it would propel him into the ball, which would knock it into the back of the goal. All right, 2 nothing. A couple minutes into this matchup. Ball slowly rolling in front of the net. No one able to get to it in time to affect it. Now Rick clears. Comical Vale takes his loss on this possession, goes back to defend. Now Comical Vale with an opportunity here, off the post. Now when it ends up skying into the air. Now Rick's going to try and recover here. Comical Vale is waiting for him. Got a little impatient there, tried to you know, take a steal there, but ended up going wide. And see now the now the pace is picking up a little bit here. Yeah, now we as, got as you inch closer to that prize and that championship, it starts to starts to pick up. The action starts to pick up. They can feel it. They can feel that prize coming at the end. And you know, Comical Vale is definitely ready for it because. He gets another goal. It's now three to nothing with two minutes left. So now, I mean, you know you have a best of three situation going on, but you, right. you definitely don't want to have your that one game that you can give to your opponent be a blowout. Right. So, and Comical Vale is is two goals away from an uh, automatic game one win. Or there's 90 seconds left to go in this, in this game one. And the other thing is, this game's definitely far from over because we've saw uh, in the the last game how you know it was four nothing, and we were all thinking it was done as Rick gets a nice save there, as this ball is just they're just playing, going back and forth, back and forth, right in front of the blue net, and you know Rick is thinking I cannot go down four nothing right here. Yeah. Well, he will. Yep. <laughs> and just as you say that, he will. Comical Vale, nice play off the left corner. Like, and just like I was saying, I, I, <laughs> keep, I keep jinxing them. Yeah. So they're going to uh, they're gonna watch this later, and they're going to hear me keep repeatedly jinxing them, and they're going to give me all kinds of grief about it. As this one is bounced in, and oh, man. And that Comical Vale gets a fortunate bounce there. And he takes a five to nothing lead. This will do it for game one. It is a one to nothing series lead here for Comical Vale. So now, if you're Rick, now you got to bring your A game here in these next two games. So, 
you know, it's, you're down one nothing. so now how do you respond in the next couple of games? Well, uh, well, if you're Rick, you obviously want to try and be defensive, but you got to work on your offensive game. Okay. So we're going to see. It's going to be just a minute here before we get this next game going, so we're just going to you know, stay right here, keep, keep talking about this. So you know, like we mentioned, it's a one to nothing lead here for Comical Vale over Rick C137. And as we're getting the next game ready to go here. But uh, obviously when you're down one nothing, okay, you got to come up with some different strategy because whatever you had in mind for that first game clearly didn't work. So you yeah. got to make – uh, some adjustments as we're just about ready to get this second game underway. So we'll see what Rick is able to do here. You know, whole new game, whole different place, whole different weather condition as well, but same result yeah. on the immediate outset as Comical Vale scores five seconds in. And this is a chance for a trip to the championship for Comical Vale. He's not going to let that slip very, very easily. All right, so on the face-off, that one ends up, you know, slight win on that face-off for Comical Veil, vale, but, uh, you know, not really able to do anything with it. Now Rick's got to recover, keep that from, from going towards his net. Picks up that boost, which might come in handy. Good block there by Comical Vale, sends it back over towards the net and puts it in for a two to nothing lead. And right now Comical Vale is just overpowering Rick 137. It's no chance for Rick right there. All yeah. Comical Vale. Yeah, like we were mentioning, you gotta take advantage of your opportunities when they present itself. And you know, Comical Vale has done that really well as the face off just ends up going absolutely nowhere. <laughs> they just ended up dead stop right in the center of the arena. So now Rick has got to come up with something quickly here as Comical Vale tried a shot from the middle of the arena, misses it just wide right. Second chance, misses wide to the left. As, you know, Rick 137 looks like he, he's kind of on his heels right now as you know, Comical Vale is really bringing the heat on him. Is that one, it just misses. Rick desperately needs to get this away from his goal. Misses on that opportunity, but a lucky bounce ends it up punting it over towards the corner. So now Comical Vale goes back to recover. Gets it back into the blue corner, right in front of the net. And another goal for Comical Vale. Uh, he is just bringing the heat yeah. here in the semifinal match. And if Rick... Rick wants to at least get it to a third game. He's got to turn it on now. He's got three and a half minutes to work with. So, But the way Comical Vale yeah. is playing right now, and there's number four, yeah, and Comical Vale is one goal away from making it to the championship game. Yeah, he is definitely on fire right now. And you know, like you're sitting here watching this, and you know, okay, if – I'm in the other semifinal matchup. I see this going on. I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to bring my A game if I make it into the finals because Comical Vale is on fire right now. Yeah, and this is just a showing of talent. And there's the game right there. Comical Vale, 5-0 shutout in both games. He wins the series 2-0 and advances to the championship game. Yeah. What a showing. Yeah, Comical Vale just absolutely brought his A game here in the semifinal. So he will advance on to the championship. So one semifinal down, another one to go between Time Lady and Fat Arabian Man. So we're going to get that one set up and ready to go. We're going to take a quick break and we're going to have that second semifinal for you right after the break here on CISN. Hi, this is Chris from Fireplace Superstore, and it's a great time to start getting your backyard ready wow. for summer. At Fireplace Good Superstore, God. we have Iowa's largest selection of outdoor furniture. Holly furniture, wrought iron, aluminum, wicker, also barbecues from Weber, and the best umbrellas to keep you shady. Fire pits to keep your backyard warm. Everything that you need for your summer here in Iowa. 
Come see us now. Fireplace Superstore, 109th and Douglas in Urban Day. Hi, this is Chris from Fireplace Superstore, and it's a great time to start getting your backyard ready for summer. At Fireplace Superstore, we have Iowa's largest selection of outdoors. Central Bank opened its doors in 1877 and has been proud to call Iowa home ever since. For more than a century, our family-owned business has worked hand-in-hand -hand with friends and neighbors across the state to make their dreams a reality. Come visit us at our new location on Hickman and Waukee and see how Central Bank can make it happen for you. Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee cares. 2020 Silverado 4x4 crew as low as $399 per month. Zero down. This is a true sign and drive. Or get up to $11,500 off or 0% for 84 months. Remember, all pre-owned vehicles come with a 12-month bumper-to-bumper warranty. 2020 Equinox LT, $299 per month. Zero down. Sign and drive. Or up to $7,000 off or 0% for 84 months. No payments for 120 days available. Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee. WaukeeChevy.com. Mid-American Energy and you, together partnering to change the energy landscape by pioneering money-saving energy efficiency programs and building a new industry in Iowa, wind energy, all while keeping your rates low. So what's next? We'll keep delivering cost-effective energy efficiency programs while putting money back in your pocket. That's right. You decide how best to spend your savings. That's a partnership good for you, good for the environment, and good for Iowa. Another way we're obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Welcome back to CISN and our first Rocket League tournament. We are halfway through the semifinals, and as we saw in that first semifinal, Comical Vale really brought his A game. It was just on fire that entire time. Just a dominating performance to advance to the championship. Yeah, nothing Rick could do could stop Comical Vale. Um, not his style of play. Comical Vale just turned it up the heat. All right, so our second semifinal is going to be between Time Lady and Fat Arabian Man, and that match is going to get started here in just a couple of minutes. So while we wait on that, just going to talk about what we saw from those two in their quarterfinal matchups. So I'm, we, I'm, we saw what Fat Arabian Man was doing. He was just you know, flying all over the place, playing super aggressively, getting it the goals that he needed to advance. Time Lady was a little bit more of a balanced mm -hmm. play style. With, yeah. So it'll be interesting to see what will win in this matchup. Yeah, either the balanced style or the fast-paced, high-flying, do whatever you got to do. Yeah, and... You know, Comical Veil is just going to be sitting here watching, see, doing a little bit of scouting to see, okay, what am I going to be up against when I'm playing for the title here? Because uh, either way, it's going to be a really good uh, championship matchup because you know, there, everybody who made it to the semifinals was playing really well. It's just, you know, some, if you're someone like Rick, you just got it in an unfortunate matchup. You played with somebody who was, you know, just – bringing his a game like nothing <laughs> you could be prepared for so just uh, about ready to get that second f semi-final underway so be just a minute here before that gets started so we're going to take a quick break get one in real quick before that semi-final starts we'll be right back here on cism 
Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee cares. 2020 Silverado 4x4 crew as low as $399 per month. Zero down. This is a true sign and drive. Or get up to $11,500 off or 0% for 84 months. Remember, all pre-owned vehicles come with a 12-month bumper-to-bumper warranty. 2020 Equinox LT, $299 per month. Zero down. Sign and drive. Or up to $7,000 off or 0% for 84 months. No payments for 120 days available. Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee. WaukeeChevy.com. All right, welcome back here on CISN. Just getting this second semifinal underway between Time Lady and Fat Arabian Man just underway. Initial face-off gets punted well clear. Now both are going to try and recover after the ball. Neither really have any boost right now, so not a lot you can do in this time period. But now Fat Arabian Man's got his boost, and he's going to take to the air right away. Over into the blue corner. Time Lady is going to go over there, clear it. And Fat Arabian Man is sitting back there waiting. So like we were mentioning, you know, before our last break, as a Fat Arabian Man, okay, now he's just showing off. Yeah, that, that was That's definitely... just showing off. Yeah. Just, uh... Holding the ball in the air. That's 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 that, talent. Yeah, that That's playing this game for a long time. Yeah. I cannot emphasize enough how much practice you have to do to be able to do that. Cause, Cause that is so difficult to be able to, you know, maintain control of the ball while you're flying through the air like that. Yeah. And Timely had no chance no, at that. No, ch no chance. No one would have had any chance at that. So now, one nothing, and here comes Fat Arabian Man's going to try and take to the skies again, and he gets another one in. This one, not quite as super crazy as the last one, but still impressive. Still, two nothing. Still impressive, and still showing why this game is. Fun to play, I guess. Yeah, in a way, you gotta pull. Cause uh, you know, if you do it right and you can score goals like that, right, it is so satisfying as a player. Cause I mean, to be able to you know fly through the air like that, it takes a lot of practice, a lot of skill at this game because it is not easy to do that by any stretch of the imagination. So now Time Lady has got to figure something out here. No, okay, you got to play some sort of keep away because you know that if you know, Fat Arabian Man gets up in the air like he is right now, you're done for. Yeah, and those two goals by Fat Arabian Man just have to suck the wind out of your confidence if you're Time Lady. <laughs> down 2-0, down 2-0 in that fashion. It's kind of yeah. hard to take it. Well, now Fat Arabian Man's uh, thinking, okay, I got a two-goal lead here. I'm going to try and play uh, keep away as much as I can. But when an opportunity like this comes up, he's going to try and take advantage of it. So we're going to see if he's going to take to the skies again. And the answer to that is yes. So here goes Fat Arabian Man trying to score again. That one ends up missing wide left. Now he hurries back to try and defend. Now Timely is just... Just sitting here waiting because, you know, Time Lady knows that you still got two minutes. A lot can happen in two minutes, and you still have a, it's a best of three. So, you know, a loss here isn't going to, you know, be the end of it for you, but it's definitely going to put you in a bind. Yeah. So we're going to see what Time Lady is able to do here. Needs to pick up some boost uh, and be able to counter what, you know, Fat Arabian Man's been doing you know, with his in-air control. Now Fat Arabian Man gets uh, the steal as Time Lady loses control. Here he goes, taking to the air again. I don't think he's going to miss this one. And that one goes in the back of the, the goal to make it 3 to nothing in favor of Fat Arabian Man. And this is just an impressive showing, and we're only in game one of this series. And... I don't know what Comical Vale is thinking right now because he's going to have to go up against 
most likely the fat man. Well, but you never know. But if he does go up against the fat man, he's going to have to go up against the style play. Yeah, he he's got to be cheering hard for. <laughs> for time lady right now because I don't want to go up against this. Are you, exactly. Are you kidding me? Exactly. Because, oh. because like, good luck trying mm. to stop the, that kind of attack. Yeah, if if you're gonna try even try and stop Fat Man, you're gonna have to be able to do those maneuvers in the air just like him. It's now time lady's just trying to. You know, bite her time. I think, I think Time Lady knows that this first game is probably done for. This is probably trying to come up with a, some sort of strategy to counter this right here. Uh, this Fat Arabian Man takes to the sky once again. Not quite the same control that time as he had on the previous attempts. Now, Time Lady had an opportunity there, but Fat Arabian Man did a good job of playing defense there. So now we're going to see what he's going to do here is looks like he's going to try and take to the skies again. Here he goes. This one, not quite as it bounces off the post. 15 seconds remaining here in game one. Looks like you know, Fat Arabian Man's going to take this first game for a 1-0 lead in this series. It's the time is counting down, five seconds remaining. And Fat Arabian Man's going to try and get one last goal in, not able to do it. And he will take game one by a score of three to nothing. What an impressive game won by Fat Arabian Man. Just high flying, just impressive, high flying wins game one. And, and there's really not a whole lot you can do when you're up against that. Yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, to be able to counter that you have to be able to be up in the air like that as well. And that takes skill just to be able to be that high in the air and, and that takes, under some sort of control. Yeah, and that takes a long time to conquer in this game. If you can, if you're able to do that, you can, you've been playing this game for a long time and practicing and practicing maybe every day, maybe three times a week. All right, so here in game two, we end up in a little bit of a different arena compared to most of what we've been seeing so far is that this arena that we're in is called Badlands. And as you can tell, the sides of it are sloped a little bit compared to most of the other ones we've seen so far that are just flat. So we'll see if that ends up making a difference for that Arabian Man style of play, but it doesn't really appear so as he scores to make it one nothing. Well, he didn't fly that time, but same result. <laughs> so now Timeway is probably well aware at this point. All right, I got to do something here because what I have been doing has not been working. But, uh, you know, if, if you're just going to leave it wide open there for Fat Arabian Man for him to take to the skies. Here he goes again. We're going to see what he's going to try and do this time. Not quite able to do anything with it. I think this this set is just a little too big for him to fly around. And that might be a good thing for Time Lady if, she, if, the, if he cannot fly. That could be a good thing. Time Lady might have a chance. She's just down one goal. All right, so... Uh, you know, Fat Arabian Man's going to play some defense here. Timely trying to get something going, not quite able to. Now Fat Arabian Man's got an opportunity here. He's going to take to the skies once again. But uh, Time Lady not quite able to do something with that, and Fat Arabian Man takes advantage of it and just a lot more simple of a play this time. Yeah, he's showing all aspects of what he can do in the first game he, sh he showed his high flying ability now he's just and he's just showing he can play angles too well that was a bit of a misplay there by fat raving i think he thought that he was gonna that ball was just gonna deflect off of him but 
It didn't. And that ends up going to the back of net for time, ladies. So three, just under three and a half minutes remaining. It is two to one in favor of Fat Arabian. And Time Lady needs this game to go to a deciding third game. And, you know, when you have it set up that nicely for you, it's just too easy for yeah. Fat Arabian, man. Yeah. I, mean, that's to, uh, I mean, that's like he's, um, he's doing tip drills at basketball. Practice. Exactly. So just as quickly as it became two to one, it is now three to one. That face off sent over into the corner. Here comes Fat Arabian Man again. Didn't have an angle on that one. So now Time Lady is just trying to figure out, all right, what can I do here? But uh, you know, Fat Arabian Man playing aggressively, super aggressively, just puts it in the back of the net once again to make it four to one. I think that goal by Time Lady that he let go by him has made him angry and he just came back with a couple goals of his own and he's won away from moving on to the championship. And that might happen real quick here as he wins that face off. Just gonna slowly let it roll in for the game winning goal. Fat Arabian Man advances to the championship, wins game two by a score of five to one. Just again, another dominating performance here in the semifinals. So, the championship match is now set. It's going to be Comical Vale versus Fat Arabian Man, and this should be fun. This should be fun. Both great offensive players, good defensive players. We have our hands full with this one. Yeah, it's going to be a really aggressive matchup because, it, I mean, we saw in the semifinals, both Comical Vale and Fat Arabian Man were playing super aggressively, and... I think Comical Vale might have a little bit of advantage here because he might have been able to watch what Fat Arabian Man has been doing, which I think is going to be a bit of an advantage just to the fact, okay, you know what's coming. Yeah. So we're going to see what's going to end up happening here in the championship match. That's going to be coming up here in just a couple of minutes. Before that, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back for the championship right here on CISN. Hi, this is Chris from Fireplace Superstore, and it's a great time to start getting your backyard ready for summer. At Fireplace Superstore, we have Iowa's largest selection of outdoor furniture. Poly furniture, wrought iron, aluminum, wicker, also barbecues from Weber, and the best umbrellas to keep you shady. Fire pits to keep your backyard warm. Everything that you need for your summer here in Iowa. Come see us now, Fireplace Superstore, 109th and Douglas in Urbandale. Central Bank opened its doors in 1877 and has been proud to call Iowa home ever since. For more than a century, our family-owned business has worked hand-in-hand -hand with friends and neighbors across the state to make their dreams a reality. Come visit us at our new location on Hickman and Waukee and see how Central Bank can make it happen for you. Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee cares. 2020 Silverado 4x4 crew, as low as $399 per month. Zero down, this is a true sign and drive. Or get up to $11,500 off or 0% for 84 months. Remember, all pre-owned vehicles come with a 12-month bumper-to-bumper warranty. 2020 Equinox LT, $299 per month. Zero down, sign and drive. Or up to $7,000 off or 0% for 84 months. No payments for 120 days available. Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee. WaukeeChevy.com. Mid-American Energy and you, together partnering to change the energy landscape by pioneering money-saving energy efficiency programs and building a new industry in Iowa, wind energy, all while keeping your rates low. So what's next? We'll keep delivering cost-effective energy efficiency programs while putting money back in your pocket. That's right, you decide how best to spend your savings. That's a partnership good for you, good for the environment, and good for Iowa. Another way we're obsessively, relentlessly at your service.
Welcome back here on CISN to our Rocket League tournament. Got one game left. Championship matchup between Comical Veil vale and Fat Arabian Man. You know, been a fun tournament so far, so let's go look at the bracket real quick and see and kind of run through what we've seen over the last you know, about hour and a half or so. So we, so we had uh, Rick C137, Comical Veil, vale, ended up going into the semifinals. You had Time Lady and Fat Arabian Man, they won their matchups respectively. But uh, then we got to the semifinals, and we just saw us dominating performances. Oh, yeah. I mean, they definitely stepped it up. So I know they definitely want that satisfaction of winning this tournament oh, that we have going on. Definitely. But, uh, you know, Comical Vale and Fat Arabian, man, those two in this championship matchup, you know, same as the semifinals, except it's a best of five instead of a best of three. So, again, five-minute games, you know, a five-goal limit. So if you score five goals, you win that on that respective game, but uh, I don't think these games are going to go five minutes. The, w <laughs> the rate that those two are scoring. Yeah. It's, I think these are going to be all uh, games that are going to be first one to five wins. I don't think we're going to have to worry about a time limit. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely going to be hard fought. That's for sure. Um, both same style of play. Both like high flying. Both like fast pace. It's going to be fun. Yeah, so we're going to be in for a show when this championship matchup gets underway between a Comical Vale and Fat Arabian Man. So we're going to take another break, and we're going to have the championship match for you right here on CISN. Central Bank opened its doors in 1877 and has been proud to call Iowa home ever since. For more than a century, our family-owned business has worked hand-in-hand -hand with friends and neighbors across the state to make their dreams a reality. Come visit us at our new location on Hickman and Waukee and see how Central Bank can make it happen for you. Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee cares. 2020 Silverado 4x4 crew, as low as $399 per month. Zero down, this is a true sign and drive. Or get up to $11,500 off or 0% for 84 months. Remember, all pre-owned vehicles come with a 12-month bumper-to-bumper warranty. 2020 Equinox LT, $299 per month. Zero down, sign and drive. Or up to $7,000 off or 0% for 84 months. No payments for 120 days available. Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee. WaukeeChevy.com. Mid-American Energy and you, together partnering to change the energy landscape by pioneering money-saving energy efficiency programs and building a new industry in Iowa, wind energy, all while keeping your rates low. So what's next? We'll keep delivering cost-effective energy efficiency programs while putting money back in your pocket. That's right, you decide how best to spend your savings. That's a partnership good for you, good for the environment, and good for Iowa. Another way we're obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Central Bank opened its doors in 1877 and has been proud to call Iowa home ever since. Hi, this is Chris from Fireplace Superstore, and it's a great time to start getting your backyard ready for summer. At Fireplace Superstore, we have Iowa's largest selection of outdoor furniture. Holly furniture, wrought iron, aluminum, wicker, also barbecues from Weber, and the best umbrellas to keep you shady. Fire pits to keep your backyard warm. Everything that you need for your summer here in Iowa. Come see us now, Fireplace Superstore, 109th and Douglas in Urban 
Shot and Kirk Chevy Waukee cares. 2020 Silverado 4x4 crew as low as $399 per month. Zero down. This is a true sign and drive. Or get up to $11,500 off or 0% for 84 months. Remember, all pre-owned vehicles come with a 12-month bumper-to-bumper warranty. 2020 Equinox LT, $299 per month. Zero down. Sign and drive. Or up to $7,000 off or 0% for 84 months. No payments for 120 days available. Shot and Kirk Chevy Waukee. WaukeeChevy.com. Welcome back to CISN's coverage of this Rocket League tournament. Championship match is going to be coming up here in just a couple of minutes. But before we get to that, uh, we wanted to go through. We wanted to make a pick on this, on this championship match, and and we were discussing this over um, during the commercial break. So, Reese, I'm going to let you go first here. Who do you got here in this championship match? Well, both both like to high, be high flying. Both play fast pace both were impressive in their semi-final matches but I think Comical Vale might pull this one out in five games it might be the upset I don't know who who you at home like to win this but I say Comical Vale pulls the upset maybe see I'm, I'm kind of intrigued by that because I thought that um, I thought that you were going to take uh uh, Fat Arabian Man on that one, but uh, here s- since you pick Comical Veil, I'm gonna pick Fat Arabian Man All just right. a, just for a differing opinion on this. But uh, it's gonna be fun either way. Yeah, it's gonna be a heck of a matchup between these two. So we're gonna take one last break before we get this championship matchup underway. We'll have it for you right after the break here on CISN. Central Bank opened its doors in 1877 and has been proud to call Iowa home ever since. For more than a century, our family-owned business has worked hand-in-hand with friends and neighbors across the state to make their dreams a reality. Come visit us at our new location on Hickman and Waukee and see how Central Bank can make it happen for you. Shot and Kirk Chevy Waukee cares. 2020 Silverado 4x4 crew as low as $399 per month. Zero down. This is a true sign and drive. Or get up to $11,500 off or 0% for 84 months. Remember, all pre-owned vehicles come with a 12-month bumper-to-bumper warranty. 2020 Equinox LT, $299 per month. Zero down. Sign and drive. Or up to $7,000 off or 0% for 84 months. No payments for 120 days available. Shot and Kirk Chevy Waukee. WaukeeChevy.com. MidAmerican Energy and you, together partnering to change the energy landscape by pioneering money-saving energy efficiency programs and building a new industry in Iowa, wind energy, all while keeping your rates low. So what's next? We'll keep delivering cost-effective energy efficiency programs while putting money back in your pocket. That's right. You decide how best to spend your savings. That's a partnership good for you, good for the environment, and good for Iowa. Another way we're obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Chevy Waukee cares. 2020 Silverado 4x4 crew as low as $399 per month. Zero down. This is a true sign and drive. Or get up to $11,500 off or 0% for 84 months. Remember, all pre-owned vehicles come with a 12-month bumper-to-bumper warranty. 2020 Equinox LT, $299 per month. Zero down. Sign and drive. Or up to $7,000 off or 0% for 84 months. No payments for 120 days available. Shot and Kirk Chevy Waukee. WaukeeChevy.com. All right, welcome back here on CISN. Just about ready to get this championship matchup underway here in our Rocket League tournament. So we made our picks. We made our analysis. Went through the whole thing. Now it's time we get this show on the road. So we're just about ready to get this one going on. And we'll take one last quick look at the brackets. That way you can find out how everyone got here before we start this championship match. There it is for you on the screen. Uh, Fat Arabian Man made it from the bottom of the bracket going through Shof and Time Lady. 
a comical veil went through uh, I kill you four times and Rick C on his way to the championship match. So this is going to be a good one. So now we're just waiting on everyone to get in so we can get this match up on the road. As we mentioned before, uh, best three out of five, five minute games. First one to five goals wins a respective game. And we mentioned this before we started. We don't think we're going to be going to five minutes in any of these games. So looks like we're just about ready to get this one going. I, I, we thought we were going to get going, <laughs> yeah. but uh, not not quite yet. Not quite yet. Looks like. All right. So the fat ravy man's in. He has picked to be orange here in this matchup. So that'll make Comical Veil vale be in the blue car. Now we're ready to go. Buckle up, everybody. This one's going to be a show. This is our championship match. Yep. Here we go. Initial face off. Fat Arabian man. <laughs> Get wins the initial one. Shot almost went in. Almost thought it was going to be a save. Rebound eventually goes in for Fat Arabian Man. And he strikes first to make it one to nothing. And we are wasting no time. No, we're not. He uh, initially missed the, the shot from the air, but followed that up with the side shot. All right, so now. Comical Vale is going to try and come up with some sort of response. Comical Vale not quite able to get there. Fat Arabian Man beats him to the punch over into the blue corner. Comical Vale has got to go back and play some defense. Fat Arabian Man not quite able to do anything with it. And a good play by Comical Vale to just defend the goal. Oh, Fat Arabian Man made a mistake there. He had an opportunity to get it in. Makes it... Now sends it too high. That was a sure goal that he had there, but he just missed it. That was a sure goal, and he tried to get, he uh, kind of got cocky with it and did that front flip, and it sent it high. And that one just misses, but, oh, an unfortunate bounce there for Comical Vale as he ends up scoring an own goal to make it two to nothing. Yeah, he was racing to come back and save that one. It just... Rolled in front of him and he couldn't stop in time. All right, two nothing in favor of Fat Arabian Man here in game one of this championship series. Face off goes nowhere. Fat Arabian Man gets punted out of the way. I think uh, Comical Veil is kind of frustrated here. Opportunity, no good. Saved by Fat Arabian Man. Ball quickly going down towards the other end. Quickly going back over is both players. No one able to do anything with it. Got to get there quickly, Comical Vale with a good save. But it really didn't matter because, <laughs> you know, Fat Arabian Man just turned around and put it back in the net to make it three to nothing. Yeah, nice deflection off the off the wall for Fat Arabian Man. He just took it, took it to the goal. Yeah, we're definitely picking up the pace here. Like, we thought the semifinals had fast-paced action. These two are just going at it. Oh, yeah. So now Comical Vale's got a thinking, I gotta re gotta change my strategy here, because he ended up down three to nothing. What an impressive save by Comical Vale there. I I'm sitting here thinking that's gonna be four nothing written all over it, but not quite. Now Fat Arabian Man's gonna try and carry it down. That one is just wide. I think uh, Comical Vale may be a little bit frustrated with how this is going so far, but here comes another shot just off the top of the crossbar. As, you know, Fat Arabian Man's really trying to make this for nothing, but instead it is three to one as Comical Vale goes a super long distance to score his first goal of this matchup. A nice shot from far distance by Comical Vale. First time we've actually seen some offense go against Fat Arabian Man. All right, so now um, Comical Veil vale with a little bit of life here. He's thinking, all right, you got that first goal. So now you just got to keep that pressure on and don't give Fat Arabian Man any more opportunities to take to the skies. Well, well he did. Yep. He did. That's goal number four. That's this is a 
unfortunate one there for Comical Veil vale because uh, he got caught in a no-win spot. So it's four to one now in favor of Fat Arabian Man. So now it's a best of five this series, not a best of three. So Comical Veil vale is going to have plenty of time to get back going here in later games if the Fat Arabian Man ends up taking the win here in game one. I mean, we've seen plenty of comebacks, you know, from our time, you know, watching and playing Rocket League. But, uh, mm -hmm. you know, Comical Vale is definitely going to need to pull out all the stops if he wants to get back in this game. He misses on that one. Now, Fat Arabian Man's got full control of the situation. He takes the sky. Comical Vale is waiting for him. And I guess will we classify that as a rugby tackle in uh, Rocket League? I would I would call it that. As uh, that one is saved again by Comical Veil, he is going to make Fat Arabian Man earn the uh, the this win here in game one as we're under two minutes remaining. Here comes Fat Arabian Man taking to the skies again. Misses, ends up falling on his roof onto the floor. That shot is... I have a bit of a wild shot, really. Nowhere close to the goal. Now Comical Vale's got this one set up nicely for him. Shot misses to the right into the corner. Now Fat Arabian Man comes off the ceiling, and he's going to get the goal here. Oh, I thought there for a second I spoke too soon because that shot looked like it was going to hit the post, but then it ended up bouncing in for Fat Arabian Man, and he takes the win here in game one. Just amazing what Fat Arabian Man can do from the air. You got to come up with some sort of strategy to you know, slow that down. But, I mean, we mentioned this earlier. That might require you going to the air yourself. Yeah. Which, when you have so, when you're at such a disadvantage like that, I, I mean, he did have the right idea because he was just sitting down there waiting for him and he made some tougher angles for Fat Arabian Man to work with. And he might have to try and keep doing that. Because mm -hmm. that that's about the only thing that we've seen in this entire tournament that has slowed Fat Arabian Man down at all. So we'll have to see what happens here in game two of this best of five. Comical Vale going to need to put something together here in game two as he's down one to nothing. Initial clear... Had an opportunity there. Just wasn't able to get the, the right bounce. And let's see if he's figured anything out about Fat Arabian Man in a moment in a moment of seconds. Yeah, Fat Arabian Man wasn't really able to do anything there so on that attempt. Oh now he now Comical Vale. Gave it right back up to Fat Arabian Man. Here he goes. He's going to set up the take to the air once again. Soaring over to the goal. That one ends up going too high. Comical Vale is going to be able to get it away from his goal. Opportunity. Ooh, this one bounces off of Fat Arabian Man. Comical Vale's got to hurry. Oh, what a save by Fat Arabian Man. I thought for sure Comical Vale was going to get a goal out of that. But Fat Arabian Man just comes flying in out of nowhere, gets the save, and here he goes to the air once again. Comical Vale waiting, gets another save. And a good job by Comical Vale not wasting any time as, as Fat Arabian Man came down from the aerial attack and just cleared that one away. I think he's got the timing down a little bit. On So Fat Arabian Man might need to try a different... You know, a different style of an aerial attack, kind of like that one right there. Yeah. Because what he's been doing so far, Comical Vale has got figured out, and he's not going to let it happen. Kind of like a shoot and rebound now for Fat Arabian Man. And there you go. Like we were mentioning earlier, you have to take the opportunities when they present themselves, and he got a steal, and Comical Vale went flying in the completely wrong direction. Mm -hmm. And that's an easy goal for Fat Arabian Man to make it one to nothing. Yep. So, 
Now Comical Vale finds himself down one to nothing here in game two. Just over three minutes remaining, but I think he's got something figured out here for Fat Arabian. Man. He just needs to, you know, get the opportunity to present itself to be able to strike. Able to jump over Fat Arabian Man there, but uh, just when he thought he had an opportunity, he comes back and steals it away from him. Now the ball slowly rolling across the middle of the field. Both players trying to get some boost. Ends up deflecting, slowly rolling back towards the blue goal. Fat Arabian Man does a little bit of a psych out there on Comical Vale. Takes to the air. Comical Vale is waiting for him. He's got full boost. Going to need it here. And not quite able to do anything with it. Fat Arabian Man gets the goal and go up 2 to nothing. Just played it off the wall and just like I said before, just a shoot and rebound. I mean, it is starting to become more of a tip drill now. A fat Arabian man's really taking that to his advantage. That one almost went in for Comical Vale. He really needed that to go in. Now he's got to hustle back so fat Arabian man doesn't get another goal here. Ran out of boost. Comical Vale able to get the save. Now he's going to go on the attack. Fat Arabian Man with an excellent clear. And Comical Vale's got himself in another bad spot as he was flying over to the opposite corner. Able to recover, though. And Fat Arabian Man's just trying to look for an opportunity to strike. And this might be it right here. Misses wide right. Rebound is going to eventually go in for Fat Arabian Man to make it 3 to nothing. That one he played a lot more patiently than he has been previously. Yeah, definitely after he missed the aerial attack, he just just let Comical Vale go by and easily put it in the back of the goal. So now Comical Vale is just trying to figure out, okay, what am I going to do? to counter this and well now we met him on the ground on that one because I, I think that's smart because he because eh, uh, fat arabian man has repeatedly gone to right around the midfield line mm -hmm. and that's when he takes to the sky and comical veil met him at that point and didn't let him go in and eventually got a goal out of it so that might be the strategy for him but uh, but uh, fat arabian man seems like the type who would you know, definitely. All right, you got that once. I'm not going to let you do that to me again. Yeah. We'll find out. Well, Comical Vale's got an opportunity here as that face-off. I would count that as a face-off win for Comical Vale, but not quite able to do anything with it. Now Fat Arabian Man patiently waiting for his time. Now goes a different strategy, but that one is saved by Comical Vale. He was ready for that. Now Comical Vale goes on the attack, just barely misses, realizes he's in trouble now, goes back to defend. Here comes Fat Arabian Man, he's going to take to the skies once again. That one did not go as planned for him, I don't believe. Yeah, just ran out of gas at the top and fell down to the floor before he wanted to, I believe. All right, 30 seconds remaining. Here in game two, Fat Arabian Man trying to get something going. Just missed. Comical Vale's got to hurry here. This is going to be the one opportunity he's going to get. That one just slowly hanging up. Oh, ho, ho. Fat Arabian Man makes the save at the last second. Last 10 seconds here of game two. Fat Arabian Man just trying to kill some time. and looks like he is going to take a 2 to nothing lead here in this series. Not quite yet. And there we go. As the ball hits the floor to end game two, Fat Arabian Man takes the W. Well, that one was a lot more intense than the first yeah. game was. So we're going to see what, you know, Comical Vale is going to try. Yeah, he's down 2 nothing now. And obviously, next win for Fat Arabian Man, he wins this tournament. So yeah. now we're going to have to see what, Comical Vale comes up with. I mean, this is really going to be a last-ditch effort. I mean, he's got the right idea mm -hmm. at some places, but uh, 
fat of raving is just so quick that you really can't keep up with it. Yeah, so he's he's very good at both ends, the offensive and defensive. Um, his high flying is aerial attack. It's just hard to stop. Well, if uh, Comical Vale wants a shot at winning this turn, he's going to have to come up with something yeah. quick. Now, and that he's down two games to none. And, you know, we thought that we were going to have uh, – I made the prediction before we started that we weren't going to have any games that were going to go the full five minutes. Uh, looks like I was wrong on that one. So, so uh, while we're waiting on this uh, third game to get started here, we're just going to talk about what we saw here in those first two games a little bit. But uh, obviously, you know, Fatter Ravy, man, he has got that reputation. Yeah. That he's set in these previous games, you know, being a high flyer. Comical Vale is really about the only guy who's even had an answer for it at this point. So it's going to be, I mean, he's had a bit of an answer to it, but it hasn't really been able to slow it down enough to have a chance at winning these games. So he's going to have to try something a little bit more different, a little bit more exotic as Looks like we now got back. We're going into this third game. We haven't missed anything. It's still 0-0. Zero, zero. But, uh, okay, I think they know when I say something <laughs> regarding a score. I think they're listening to me. Yeah. I think I think they have our stream on, at, on their TV or their laptop, and they can hear me talking, and they know exactly when to score to prove me wrong. One nothing, Fat Arabian Man. Three and a half minutes in. Comical Vale waiting, he has an opportunity, but a save there by Fat Arabian Man. Hey, he saw that one coming the whole way. Yep, and he timed it perfectly. Back to the air for Fat Arabian Man. Let's see if he can put it in. Ooh, Comical Vale tried on that one, but wasn't able to stop it. And now this is trouble for Comical Vale right now. Yep. Down two goals with three minutes. Well, you got mm -hmm. you got plenty of time. That's w one thing. But you do, you got to try and not let him. Well, that helps right that there. That definitely helps. That definitely helps. He's got to do that a, a few more times. <laughs> yeah. I think a uh, fat Arabian man was... Uh, he was trying something fancy there, and yeah. I didn't, it bit him in the butt. So I don't think you're going to see him do that again. Although this one ends up going over towards the over the orange net. Comical Vale didn't have the simple angle that he had last time to be able to just tap it in. Still in front of the orange net, Comical Vale ran out of boost at a bad time. Now he's got to hustle back before Fat Ravy Man tries something silly, but... Uh, I, I thought he was going to be, you know, just go full send towards the net, but he didn't. And that opens up an opportunity for Comical Vale, and that's a goal to tie the game at two. And I think that Comical Vale's speed toward the goal surprised Fat Arabian Man a little bit. He thought he was just nonchalantly going to take it down toward the goal, but Comical Vale used his boost and just sped into the goal, and I think that surprised him a little bit. Right. And as a result, we're tied. All right, so on this face-off, it ends up going over to the orange corner. It, kind of, it went so far into the corner so quickly, no one was able to get there in time to do anything about it. Now here comes Fat Arabian Man in the air again. Oh, and Comical Vale just barely missed on that save attempt, and that's going to be a super long-distance goal for Fat Arabian Man. Yeah, as you said, Comfortable Vale tried, but just just a little too far. Not by much. All right, face off goes into the orange corner, rolling towards the net. Fat Arabian Man goes and clears it. We'll see what he's got up his sleeve this time. Now, here he goes. Taking to the air again. Comical Vale's waiting for it. 
not able to do anything with it. Now Comical Veil is going to clear it. That one was off the mark a little bit. Oh, good save there by Fatteravi, man. I thought he had something going on that one that looked on target, but it just got deflected at the last second. That one off target also. No chance for Comical Veil here. Can he tie it? Oh, that, that bounce was not what he needed. Now he's got to hurry and get back. Fat Arabian Man trying to get around him, but Comical Veil vale playing good defense there. Here he goes to the air again. Comical Veil vale not able to do anything with it, but Fat Arabian Man missed it. Now he's got to go back and recover. Just over one minute remaining. Comical Veil vale not quite able to do some, anything with it as this ball is just flying around the arena. This is what this game is all about. Oh, here comes Comical Veil with a shot here. Oh, Fat Arabian Man missed it. He tried to just what hang goal. around and wait for it, but Comical Veil got the angle he needed. Big time goal for Comical Veil. He needed that goal He definitely badly. needed that. 47 40. seconds. Tied at three. Game three of five of our championship match. All right. Kamuka Vale's got to come up with something here. I mean, he did really well getting the goal there, but Fat Arabian Man's up to his tricks. Not quite able to do anything that time. Didn't have the boost for it. 30 seconds left here in regulation. And Kamuka Vale force a game four. Are we going to go to overtime or not? You never sure. know, but he, here comes Fat Arabian Man. Comical oh. Vale's out of place. Oh, what a save. What he a came save. flying in. I thought he was done for. That might have just saved his game right there. Oh, he's got to get back. Fat Arabian Man's got one more shot at this. He's going to take to the air. Here he goes. He's got, and he doesn't have the angle here, and we're going to overtime. Overtime oh, in game three of five. The Fat Arabian scores first. He wins. Oh, boy. Here he goes. Oh, he wasn't able to really do anything that time. Comical Vale's got plenty of time if to Com deflect that one. If Comical Vale wins this overtime, we go to a game four. Yep. Well, now both of them tried to get, you know, fancy and go air, uh, through the air with it, and neither of them really had the opportunity there. Oh, Fat Arabian Man's got a chance here. Deflects off the post, and there is the game winner. Fat Arabian Man wins the Rocket League tournament. What, what, a, what a game what, that was. What a match. How about all three of those, man? All three of those games. How about the whole tournament? What, what a whole tournament we had. A lot of different style, a lot of different styles. Um, slow, fast, methodical. So many different styles that we saw during this tournament. Yeah, and Fat Arabian Man got the job done when he had to. I mean, Comical Veil gave him a run for his money there in game three. And I think with, uh, if that would have been, like, say, a seven-game series, I think we, Comical Veil would have definitely given him a run for his money in those later games because as it went on, he got better. And Fat Arabian Man really had to bring out some different tricks mm -hmm. to be able to get a shot into the net, which... I mean, and I give Comic Avail all the credit. He did. It was hard to keep up with him, and he did it really well in that, th especially those second and third games. But uh, congratulations to Fat Arabian Man on winning this tournament. So that's going to do it here for us. That's a wrap on our first Rocket League tournament. We had a lot of fun calling it. We had a lot of fun getting doing all the prep work for this over the last couple <laughs> weeks. But uh, thank you to everyone who participated in this tournament. Thank you to everyone who was watching with us tonight. We say good night here from CISN TV.